Hi and welcome to this video where we are going to go through setting up and using the Kaggle API. So the first thing we want to do is actually pip install Kaggle. Now I already have it installed so I'm not going to go ahead and install it again but once you do have it installed you can try and import the Kaggle module and you will get this error here. So this OS error simply tells you that you could not find the Kaggle.json and you need to add it to this location here. Now, the reason it's telling you this is because we use Kaggle.json to authenticate our API access. Obviously, Kaggle is not gonna let anyone access their API. You need to have a account before you start downloading their data. So, to get our Kaggle.json credentials, we simply go over to Kaggle.com. Now, if you don't have an account, you'll have to go ahead and create one. Once you've created your account, you simply go over to this little icon over here in the top right, click account, and scroll down until you see this API section. Now, all you need to do is create a new API token, and this creates the Kaggle.json credentials and allows me to save them to my computer. So I'm just gonna save them in my documents for now. And then head back to the notebook. And we're gonna see that we need to save it here. So I'm gonna copy and paste that across. And here we have the directory that we need to put our Kaggle.json. I'm gonna take my Kaggle.json and simply move it into here. Okay, so to check that it's worked, we simply rerun this cell. And there we can see that our Kaggle API is now functional. Now, we don't actually need this import Kaggle. Instead, we need to import the Kaggle API class from the Kaggle API extended module. Once we've imported that, we simply initialize our API. and then authenticate it. Now we're ready to start downloading data sets and the Kaggle API gives us several options for doing this. The two that you're most likely to use are for downloading the competition data sets or standalone data sets. Now a competition data set is related to a current or past competition. So for example, there is a sentiment analysis on movie reviews competition. We can actually find it over here. And you can see here in the URL, Kaggle.com is followed by this C. And this C essentially means that this is a competition. And we can also see playground prediction competition. Everything is telling us that this is a competition. And in this competition, it comes with some data. Now, this is different to a standalone data set and these standalone data sets can simply be uploaded by anyone. So if we go over to the sentiment 140 data set here, we can look in the URL and we can see that this data set has been uploaded by Casanova and there's a slightly different structure to the data set page as well. And we can see here it's a data set, first tab takes us to data and we can scroll down and see data that we can get here. So there are two different methods for downloading each one of these. We can't download competition data sets with the standalone data set method and we can't download standalone data sets with the competition data set method. So we'll start with the competition data sets and to download one of these all we need to do is use the competition download file method. And then we need to pass the competition name followed by the data set. So head back over here, we can see the competition name is this.
and the data that we would like is train.tsv.zip. And that is downloaded into our current directory. You can see it here. Okay, so that's how we download the competition data sets. We can also download the standalone data sets. To do so, we use the data set download file method. And then here we need to pass the username followed by the data set name. So if we head over here, we can find both in the URL. So this one is Casanova slash sentiment 140. We also need to specify the file name, which in this case is this text here. And then we just execute that. And now we can see that we have downloaded both files here. Now you will notice that both of these files are actually zipped. So we can just quickly unzip them using Python. All we need to do is import zip file. And then with zip file, we specify the path to the data, which in this case is just the file name. And we specify that we are simply reading it. And then we simply call the extract all method. And we have our data set here. And we can see everything is in the right format. So that's everything for this tutorial on using the Kaggle API. If you have any questions, just let me know in the comments below. But otherwise, thank you for watching, and I will see you again next time.